what's that like and how easy is it for an offense to get caught up in a game like that against the Chiefs? I mean, I look back at that game. You know, I played defense, so we had five takeaways, scored twice on defense. So it wasn't 54 51, doesn't really tell the story, but it was just, you know, it was a shootout. You know, they had some opportunistic plays, so did we. And um, it's just, I don't want that to happen this this week coming up. Uh, I want it to be low scoring, uh, high scoring on the RN, but it, it was just an all around great game. And you go back and watch it, it's just a bunch of great football all over the place. Well, you, you guys went out at the Super Bowl. I believe so. Uh, I think, you know, we had a kind of a bend, don't break mentality that year. Um, but I think we played good football, good enough football to win. And that's all that matters. You know, stats, rankings, and all that stuff doesn't really matter. As long as you can win games when it matters, get those fourth down stops, two minute stops at the end of the games, I, I think you got a good enough team to go to the Super Bowl. Mahomes is one of the best in the business. Have you? Do you have any idea how you slow him down or, or stop him? I think you just got to be disciplined. You know, they, they make all schedule, all script plays. Uh, if you keep the quarterback in the pocket, you got a good chance. Uh, you keep guys in front of you, you got a great chance. If you if you tackle as soon as they catch the ball, you got a great chance. So all of those things, we got to really be on top of of, of it and um, just go from there. With him, with Mahomes, in your safety spot, is there something that he does that makes life toughest for you? I mean, you know, you think of him scrambling, you think about the big arm. Um, from your job, like which of those is the hardest to deal with? Right, I think it's a combination of, like you said, off off script plays and the big arm. He could be fading backwards. You think the play is over, and he can get the ball to pretty much anywhere on the field. Uh, so just the the arm talent is is really something you gotta you know be cautious of and really just stay on your guy like until the whistle blows. Literally every single snap. Are they unlike any other offense? Not only because of him, but in Hill and Kelsey, they got mismatch opportunities. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like any other offense, but they're definitely a great offense. You know, you definitely got to put the work in on the film. You got to be ready to play that team. You can't just cakewalk your way through that game. You got to really be disciplined every single play. But uh, they got weapons. Uh, a lot of teams in the league, they have weapons. But uh, I think they have, like you say, unique weapons. Tyreek is probably like the fastest guy in the league. You know, Kelsey's probably the best tight end in the league. So they have unique weapons, but there are a lot of teams with a lot of different weapons. So it's really just being disciplined every single snap. Just curious, what's, what's your first assignment when what was that? What's your first assignment when they come up to the ball? What are you looking at? I'm I'm a safety. I can't let anybody get behind me. Okay. That's that's literally my, my number one bottom line. Don't let anybody get behind you. Is, is this one of those games where you kind of love that chess match though, when they start throwing out all that motion and you're trying to figure out what's going on? I mean, is this one of those where you're like, all right, this is fun? Oh yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, that's football. Like it's so intricate. Uh, the details are. Psh, the margin for error in this game is so small. Like you got to be on your game, and uh, it is fun. That, that's what football is all about, and I'm looking forward to it. So you're not allowed to let anybody behind you. Um, do you have to give an extra half a yard for Tyreek because he's so fast? We'll, we'll fill it out. You know, we'll, 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 we'll fill it out. Um, but it's definitely mentally. You know, I, I got to know where he is and um, just make sure I got my depth and keep everything in front of me. But they're also so creative in the red zone. It's, uh, shuffle passes. How much of a challenge is that for you uh, at the back end of a close quarters? Yeah, it's just good eyes and, and studying it. You know, everything is going to be on tape. We, we've seen, like you said, we've seen shovel passes, we've seen options, we've seen uh, zone reads, we've seen reverses, we've seen all types of stuff. So it's really just being disciplined and uh, reading your keys, seeing a little to see a lot, you know, and it, it'll really take us far this week. This is a tough test for this new defense. Is it a good one, though, that it'll allow you to kind of see where you stand right away? I think so. You know, week one, you always want, you know, a challenge. You always want to challenge every week. But, you know, um, this team, they're coming off a Super Bowl berth, and uh, it'll be fun just to go out there and compete with one of the best. Hope We want to be one of the best, so in order to do that, we got to beat the best. Speaking yeah. of new, Greg Newsom said this week he expects Mahomes to throw at him. Do you, do you get any advice for him if he goes <laughs> up against one of the best? Just trust your technique. That's what we've been working since he's got here, and he's mastered a lot of the stuff that you need to last a long time in this league. So if he trusts that and not just, you know, let the moment get too big for him, I think he'll be just fine. A lot of a lot of teammates say about Greg that he's got a real good swagger in a positive way about him, mm -hmm. and he also has a good short-term memory. He's able to, if he makes a mistake, it almost instantaneously correct sure. that. But, you know, playing corner, you're going to give up plays. Mm -hmm. It's just part of the, the, the business. Right. Um, but what do you – what do you – him uh, if that happens Sunday as far as, you know, moving on to the 
I just tell them, you know, they're on scholarship too. You know, they, 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 you know, they, they get paid big bucks to to, to beat uh, defensive backs like us. But you know, we we get paid to compete, and that's what we're going to do. Put ourselves in the uh, opportunity to win, and um, I think he'll he'll be more than fine. Like we, he got enough good guys around him to keep him level headed, and we'll be we'll be fine. How hard is that though? I mean, there's such an explo- you know, explosive offense. That's part of the, the modern game. It's a passing right. game. The rules are. To, right. to, to allow for those those big plays as a DB, mm-hmm. how tough is it to move on from those those big plays in that you know split second moment? It's very tough, but I think you know as a DB, like we're trained to do that. Like literally, even at practice, like move on to the next play. We're trained to do that, and um, you know we want to limit the big plays, but you know they're going to happen. But I think it's really those those short plays that lead up to those big plays. Like if you cannot get bored with the like the monotony of an offense. And, and just trust your technique and play those big plays, I think we'll be just fine. Like, so it's really just, like I said, one snap at a time, really lock in. It, it might get a little boring, but if you trust your technique, you'll be fine. There's a perception that it's going to take the defense a while to gel. Do you think that's true? I don't think so. I think this defense is built upon, I guess, made up of guys with experience, guys that have played in big games, guys that have played on great defenses, guys that are true professionals. So I think, you know, we've been here all training camp working at it. I think, you know, we're in a good situation. As we move throughout the season, we'll obviously gel even more, but going into week one, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Now that you've been teammates with Miles for a few months, as good as advertised, better than advertised? Uh, I'll, say, I'll say better. I mean, when he's beating DBs to the ball, like, I mean, you can't, you can't make that up. You, you can talk about it, but when you're run, run, running on the field, like, you can't make it up. So I think he's all around great player. How I mean, much did you miss fans that game? It was it was a little weird um, to start, but as we moved on through the season, it kind of got used to it. But I know it'll be a, an advantage for them, and that's something that we've been practicing, you know, with the crowd noise stuff like that. Luckily for us on defense, you know, we can their offense probably needs a little quiet, so we'll be able to talk and stuff like that. But we've been working on crowd noise and stuff like that, so it's definitely going to be different. But it's back to football, so I'm happy about it. Go, going back to Miles, I mean, you played with the guy that's won Defensive Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, that's something he's been chasing. Do you right. think he's, he's got that in him this year? Definitely. I think that that title is like it's like flip a coin. I mean, <laughs> even you mentioned guys like what T.J. Watt. He thought he should have won it. You know, it's anybody could win it. So I think he definitely has enough to get it. But it's just up to us. You know, the other ten on the field to help him get there. How do you feel about the speed of the defense? How do you characterize it? Because that was a big um, you know part of bringing you and other guys in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's, I mean, just going out here, I think it's, it's pretty fast. You know, that first uh, preseason game, we were running around a little bit. We made a few mistakes, but overall, guys are running to the ball. Guys have the want to. Um, guys have the physical ability to, to get to the ball and, and swarm de- uh, swarming offensive guys. So I, f- I feel like it's, you know, second to none, just, just like any other defense I played on. And you mentioned, you mentioned Tyreek Hill probably being the best guy in the league, but overall speed, mm-hmm. does that jump out when you look at Kansas City? I, mm, yeah, they, they got a couple guys. Harmon, he can run. Uh, Kelsey's a faster tight end. You know, they got back second run. But uh, that's what the league is coming to. You know, that's why we get more uh, athletic guys out there on the field on defense. So it'll just be a, a fun, fast, physical game. <laughs>